Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm Mark Love, and it is still a pretty frosty morning uh, today, so uh, I'm going to be showing you a Navion 24D. This is a 2023 model. We're just going to do a quick uh, walk around of the outside and get inside where it's a little bit warm. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Now, First of all, most of you know, Mercedes is coming out with a new chassis in 2024. This is the six cylinder two wheel drive model, which is the standard one they've used for years and years. I'm not gonna get into the engine too much. You've seen this before. It's a six cylinder, 188 horsepower, 325 foot pounds of torque, easy to access. All your fluids, everything you need to get here. And that's your uh, terminal if you're going to jump somebody or you need to jump yourself. But uh, this engine is going to be going to a four-cylinder, and it will be an all-wheel drive platform next year on the Mercedes chassis. So let's go ahead and keep walking around. One of the things about the 24D I do want to point out, this has the most storage capacity. And it's something like 193 gallons, which is the way they, they measure the, like the cubic feet of the storage. So that's quite a bit. And we'll talk about that both inside and out. As you can see, this has a 16 foot carefree awning. Uh, it is motion sensored. So if the wind picks up, it is going to uh, close on its own. As we walk down the, uh, the passenger side here, this is probably the largest outside storage compartment you have. And you can see there's a lot of room in there. Nicely finished, the, the rotocast uh, uh, lining there, something that you could actually wash out if you wanted to. Back here, this is our 3.6 LP generator. So again, this runs off your propane. And if you noticed right here, we have a propane quick connect. So if you've got a gas grill or even a heater or something you want to pull outside, uh, you could hook it up right there and run off the, uh, the 51 pounds of propane that comes standard with this. Another storage compartment here. And then on the D floor plan, you get this compartment, which is part of what gives it so much storage. And if you get a look up above, you can see there's a little finger hole there. That compartment actually, uh, you can remove it from inside. So you can access these items when you're inside if you want, or take that out if you've got a longer item that you need to store up there. Okay, around back, we do have a ladder on the, on the Navion. It's always a nice feature. You're rated to pull 5,000 pounds. We've got our standard two inch receiver hitch and our seven-way plug right there. And a great looking cap here, uh, kind of two-piece. The bumper is separate from the rest of the back. They've got the LED lights plus the tall uh, marker lights on top. Uh, people see you when you're going down the road without any problem. Move around to the uh, shady side over here, the driver's side. Uh, in this compartment, we've got our 30 amp power cord and that's 35 feet, I believe. And then over, uh, there we go. Over here, we've got our dump valves, our outside shower, our winterization bypass kit. And that's what the blue fluid in there is. We're using blue this year on our antifreeze. Uh, you have your fresh water inlet if you're running off the uh, city water. You got a water pump. Uh, switch in there and that's really handy when you're winterizing it or doing things by yourself that you don't always have to run back inside to turn that on and then you can see your blay, uh, gray and black valves are labeled there right there is your main sewer drain okay this compartment doesn't open by the way you do also have a black tank flush and this is kind of like a pressure sprayer in your uh, solid waste tank. So it washes down the sides. It helps clean it out a little bit more thoroughly, helps uh, fight odors and keep those down. And then as we walk up here, there's one more storage compartment. I'll bend down and get that one open. It's actually a pretty good size one there. And then in this front compartment is our propane. We also have our, our hydraulics over there uh, for the levelers. This is a uh, uh, 12 
gallon. I think that's 51 pounds of propane. And one thing you'll notice, there's no lock on that handle. There never is on the compartment that has the propane. That's for safety reasons in case the fire department or something has to get in there. Okay, one little hidden spot right here is for your diesel fuel. If you don't know where that is, you might spend a long time looking for it. So I'll show you right there. And then I'll go over uh, the dash and some of the things once we get inside. But I think that's about it for uh, being outside, especially over here in the shade. Uh, I've had the generator running all morning, the furnace is on, it's nice and toasty inside. So I'm gonna show you some of the features that make this the most popular floor plan in the Navion model. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the door too as we go in. They changed this a couple years ago. The doors used to rattle, let in a lot of wind, make a lot of noise. These are much more solid. You do have a couple of storage areas as you come in. One right there, maybe for your dog leashes or your you know, doggy bags, items like that. Another storage area up here. You do have the blackout shade for night. And then there's also an integrated uh, screen here, kind of a sliding screen. That's a really nice feature. Okay, let's go ahead. Why don't you go ahead and step in, Jody? I'll shut the door. Ah, 70 degrees inside. <laughs> How nice. Okay, once again, this is the 24D floor plan. And I wanted to set up the table and just show you some of the options you have, some of the versatility. Uh, obviously, this couch here is also our bed, the Murphy bed. So you have to remove that to put it down. But uh, I kind of like having this right here. Your TV's right up there. It's a great spot. A place to watch it. Maybe you've got more than, you know, two or three or four people in here eating dinner or the weather's bad, you're watching TV. You have the room in this uh, unit. The U-shaped dinette is one of the biggest ones you'll get. This is very versatile. You can turn the thing sideways if you want. You could put this down into a sleeper, maybe make a little day bed out of it. While we're right here, I'll point out a couple of other features. We do have the, the day-night shades. There's your screen. And then here's the blackouts for night. And then this also has the dual pane acrylic windows. And I'll go ahead and open this one up. Uh, it's nice because with these style, you can push that out a little way. Maybe it's raining. Maybe you just want to get a little air in here. You don't need it open all the way. Uh, if you burn something in the kitchen, you want big air, you can open it up all the way. And then uh, when it closes, it seals tight. And like I say, this is a dual pane, uh, very good thermal insulation right there. And you've got that all the way through. As long as we're right here talking about the uh, dinette area, let me show you the storage under here. And it's nice that these are hinged. It makes it easy to get in there. You're not wrestling with having to move cushions. So you've got a compartment there. You've got one in the middle here. Let me turn that so I can open it up a little more. There we go. And then another one over here. You see there's a couple of seat belts. But that's a lot of storage. And again, that's one of the things that make this floor plan so popular is the amount of room you get for your stuff. There's also a couple of footrests right here. So these really aren't for sitting on, but like I say, you could convert that to maybe like a day bed, put your feet up, watch TV, get real comfortable here. And then overhead here, we've got three storage compartments. Now these are open to one another. So if you have longer items, you can get them, you know, all the way back there. Of course, up there in the black pouch is your uh, owner's manuals and so forth. These are privacy curtains and uh, they hook right up here. Uh, when I open up the bed, we'll talk about that a little bit more, but you know, it'll, it'll give you a little bit of privacy in that they can't see you, but face it. I don't care how big your motorhome is. 
there's no privacy. Everybody hears everything that goes on. Just be aware of that and, and uh, think about who you might want to invite to go with you. Okay. As we move back, like I said, I wanted to set this up and show you one option for putting your table in. If you look up here by the front seats too, you could put that table right here. Now I spun this one around just to give you an idea of, you know, other seating options. It's actually uh, quite a comfortable spot right here. Oh, there we go. And you can spin both of these around, put that other table right here. I know I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, but with this table out, I, I wanted to show you and then put it back away so I can convert that to a bed. So we're going to keep moving to the back over here. One thing about the couch, you notice there's 110 outlets and there's USB ports on both sides. They're actually all over. So if you have a, a sleep apnea machine or something like that, you can plug it in here at night uh, with cell phones and smart devices. Uh, everybody seems to be charging them all the time. So there's plenty of USB ports throughout thermostat right here. Uh, as we move back, I wanted to show you the kitchen or the bathroom and then I'll, I'll put that table away. First of all, in here we have a fairly tall shower. Now if I remove this rod, uh, this is kind of for hanging clothes, you can see how much room there is. So if you're 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 it's, it's uh, realistically for you to get in here and take a shower. And also, Check out the squeegee uh, effect that it's got on this shower door. I really like that. Porcelain toilet. Nice to have a window in the back. Under here we've got a little bit more storage. We have a stainless steel sink back here. Nice medicine cabinet. And then this is the cabinet I really wanted to show you. Maybe it'd be better if you came through by the, the shower and then I'll get out of the way once I open it up. But what I want to show you is this right here lifts up and I told you that you could have storage that goes all the way down. That's right there. Let me just get out of the way so Jody can get you a better picture. Now there is a, a rod there for hanging clothes. And then when it's time to put this table away at night, there you go, tucks in there nice and neat. And then let me grab my pole. There's a place over here. Stores out of the way, real nice and clean. Still gives you plenty of storage in there. Okay, uh, let's move back out. And right here next to the bathroom, we have a little pantry area. And you've got some full pull-out drawers here. Nice storage area up above. Down below, this is primarily your breakers, your fuses. Behind this panel is your water heater. And they show you uh, what position the, that you need your valves in if you're going to winterize it yourself. So that's something that, that we can help you with. We go over in the walkthrough if you're the type of person that, that likes to do things yourself. But you do have a little bit more storage right there. Okay, now before I get into the kitchen, I'm going to go back to the bed and point out how this Murphy bed works. Now there is a switch in the bathroom here to drop it down. Oh, before I do that, let me point out you do have storage here also. And uh, these are your blinds for the front window at night. Now when I bring this down, I kind of hold it so it doesn't slam down too hard and make a big clunk there. But you can see how large this mattress actually is. The nice thing is, once you have your bed made, you can leave it made. As you put this up, you actually have storage behind the mattress up here where you have your, your reading lights. You have 
more storage that passes all the way through and then like I say once your bed is made time to put it away for the day you can see as it goes up how much room you're going to have back there to, to store other items bedding pillows plenty of thing there's there's a good deal of room back there and then once you have it all the way up again you have your couch and I actually like this couch sometimes they're a little bit tall and my feet don't comfortably touch the ground you'll get kind of a cramp behind your uh, knee there but this is just the right height for somebody like myself okay across from our couch let's take a look at the kitchen so for starters we have this is a 12 volt refrigerator electric refrigerator they become very efficient they don't use a lot of power and you have a lot of room here this is 10 or 12 cubic feet I believe above your refrigerator you have a lot of your controllers so this is our solar charger you, you've got a what is that 220 I believe uh, watts of solar water pump switch here's our tank levels battery levels and then this is to start and stop your generator and then your slide out control is right there okay next to that we also have our inverter control right here and we do have a 2000 watt inverter so again if you're running a sleep machine all night you're probably going to be okay okay and then here in the kitchen let's get the lights on here you have a propane stove and you also have an induction stove so maybe I am out dry camping and I'm going to be a couple of weeks back in the desert I might not want to cook on propane I want you know you might want to save that if it's getting cold at night for your furnace or for warm water taking showers so you can use your induction in true induction any metallic pan anything a magnet will stick to will work so that means you can use your cast iron on these I actually like cooking on the propane. I think you can control the heat better and, and uh, it's a little bit easier for me. We've got three deep drawers here. These all have the soft close feature. Over here we've got another drawer down below. And right above is our convection microwave. So this is something you can bake cookies in or roast a chicken if you want to. Again, here is our TV. This actually pulls out. Behind the TV, we have a Blu-ray player, but this is kind of handy too, a place for paper towels that hang right down here. You can see you've got your remote. Uh, some more storage up here for you know DVDs or whatever you're gonna take along. And over on this side this is a lot of counter space by the way like I say this is the most popular floor plan for a number of reasons the slide is bigger it gives you more room your uh, kitchen countertop is large you can really you know prepare a meal quite easily uh, your sink covers have a little bamboo cutting board right there if you want to use it and then over here we have a, uh, a double sink a stainless steel with a residential style sprayer right here and again all of the windows here have the day night feature and you can open them a little bit or you can open them a lot okay under the sink we have a nice storage area you can see there is a whole house filter right there a little rack for you know soap or, or you know cleaning uh, solvents things like that uh, there is an access panel right there that goes to your water pump if you should need to get to it but for the most part you won't be needing to get into that then one other storage compartment and these are actually quite deep and quite tall so again uh, 193 gallons and I don't know how you could conceptualize that other than uh, taking 193 gallons of water and you've got enough storage for that much uh, 
and then let's move up to the front. So here's our bunk, and this is a queen bed. Makes it really easy to get this out of the way when you're driving. And you can see up there, we do have some more 110 outlets, more USB ports. We actually have kind of thermal window covers on the side and then a little privacy curtain here, but, but don't think people won't hear you. <laughs> and then again, I pointed out when you turn this seat around, they give you these cushions so your knees you know, aren't up into your chest but very comfortable spot. They both turn around. By the way, these are the Primera seats, which is the upgrade. And this is the, uh, uh, the dark walnut, the colonial walnut, I think they call it, or Columbian walnut, but it is the dark walnut cabin, uh, cabinets. Okay, as we climb into the dash or into the cockpit area, let me go ahead and fire this up. Of course, it's push button start on these. And it does have the Hey Mercedes feature. So uh, that's nice if you wanna, Hey Mercedes, uh, turn the radio. Oh, I gotta wake her up. There we go. Hey Mercedes. Oh, I have it on navigation right now. Let me get back to my home screen. Hey Mercedes. She is not waking up. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Navigate me to Loveland, Colorado. So you can see it's, it's the same interface they've had for a couple of three years. Uh, I can put in my address or whatever. It'll take me directly to Loveland, Colorado. Now, this part of the screen, you can control with the right side of the steering wheel right there. I'm gonna go back to my home screen. You, you might want to uh, Bluetooth in your phone. You do it right there. There's the navigation, uh, radio, media, info center. Uh, your settings, let me get into these. And one thing I wanna show you, you do have, uh, uh, get up on the top here. There we go. So let's get into our system up here. And uh, this is your displays, your voice controls, so forth. You can scroll back to assistance. And here you've got your active lane assist, your active brake assist, your attention assist. And sometimes uh, you might want to turn this off if it's, you know, you're in a construction area and, and crossing lines, it's going off all the time. So you can scroll back and turn this off. Uh, hit my back button will take me one panel back. Hit my home screen takes me back to the beginning. There are apps that you can download to your phone and control many of the features. Uh, like I say, that's all done on the right side of the screen. Also, this is where you would answer the phone if you do have a Bluetooth in. Over here on the left side, you've got a lot of the same controllers right up here in front of you. So, uh, you know, if I want to get into my settings, display and operation, uh, display my def control when I'm getting low, uh, reserve fuel. Let's see. Let's get back. Again, we can Bluetooth our phone in there. There's our media center. There's our radio again navigation so uh, they they are kind of redundant uh, but you can use it on either screen sometimes it's easier to keep your eyes forward here also over on this side you have your cruise control that you set right here and then also your distance for your active braking assist and by active i mean it will literally stop you if somebody pulls out in front of you all of a sudden and and brakes real quickly it will stop you if you you're not paying attention so uh i think that just about covers it sorry it was so brief i didn't want to spend a lot of time outside 
But once again, this is a, a Navion 24D. It's a 2023 model. We are highly motivated on all of our 23s with the new inventory coming in. So if you have questions, uh, please reach out to me if you want to come test drive this. Again, my name's Mark Love. I think my information's right there on the screen. Please call or text at 970-631-0083. And uh, once again, thanks for tuning in. Happy trails, everyone. And weather like this sure makes me think of home. So keep your stick on the ice there. We'll see you next time.